Hi guys, welcome to Preparing Food with Ted. Today we are in Bradford, Ontario, visiting my mom. And it smells so good at her house because she's making homemade lasagna. It's one of my favorite dishes. So let's have a peek in her kitchen, okay? Say hi to the people, we're vlogging. Hi everybody. <laughs> this is my mom and um, she just did um, lasagna all homemade so uh, not we she uses fresh ingredients every day so now the question we're going to be asking her today is what what kind of budget does she go on how much does she spend on groceries for living for one person tell the viewers what kind of money do you save or how much money do you spend on groceries I, for a person well, I try to buy things that are on special because it's easier on the budget and stuff. And now that um, I'm by myself now, as my husband has passed, it's it, at first it was hard to get to you know buy for one person. Yeah. But it, it takes a little while, but it, it, it's okay now. Now, do you ever go out and eat? Not too often. But when you do go out, do you have stay on a budget? Well, I try to. But sometimes that's hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever went over the budget on oh, buying yes. food? Oh yes, oh yes, yeah, sometimes you can't help that. <laughs> yeah. Well actually we'll show them the, the pantry oh. to say that, that this is for one person and she stocks up on it. So it's just stocking is better than not having anything because then you should have lots to choose from. Is it hard making meals for one person? No, what I do sometimes is I uh, make enough where I can freeze it. I do soups, freeze soups. I do chili, I freeze chili. Not a whole lot, maybe about four containers. And that, so if you're busy sometimes and you have appointments and you need something that's quick, you don't really want to come home and do any cooking, so you take it out and heat it up. Yeah. That's good advice because I do that too sometimes, guys. It's it's crazy when you when you're living by yourself and you know you just gotta stay on a budget when it comes to eating out and eating inside because you realize you're making too much food and goes to waste and then lands them in the garbage. This way you make extra food to freeze it and if you want it for the next day you can always have it. So we're down here till tomorrow, and uh, this is what uh, looks like. It's, it's it's not made. Okay. So we're just uh, looking around the apartment. It's it's really good apartment. It's not really big. It's not really small. So it's easy to maintain. It's easy to manage. This is her ba her bathroom. So it's easy to manage. It's nothing really majorly. Her front door is right here. So her front door is here, so it's a really simple apartment. It's not really uh, a major thing, right? But when she says about making soups and stews, trying to stay on a budget as you can, right? Especially for one person. Well, now with me, I have at least eight people live with me, so it's, it's even more harder to cook for eight people. Yesterday, I made eight, three meals in one day because I knew I was going to be here. So everything's ready at home. All she's going to do is put it in the oven. I made quesadillas with garlic bread for today. Tomorrow it's meatloaf and scalp potatoes. Uh, next time I'm going to do that for a vlog and show you guys how easy it is to do meals in advance to store it away for family or even if you're going to have it the next day or the next day. And we'll be back with more. Hi guys, we're back. We're just discussing on how we're doing the spaghetti sauce. And I was just asking my mom what kind of ingredients she puts in it. And she was about to tell me what she puts in it. I do onions. I do a bit of a pep green pepper. Maybe another um, garlic onion. Yellow pepper. Not all of it, just part of it. Mm -hmm. And fried everything all up. And then if you like mushrooms, you can put mushrooms in. But my son, 
No, I don't like mushrooms. Just doesn't care for mushrooms. No, Otherwise, I don't. Otherwise, it would have been in. <laughs> but my other son doesn't mind it. Yeah, I don't care for uh, too many vegetables. When I make it at home, I try and cut it up very fine, very small, or I even use my blender and, and chop it up really fine. It's like a sauce. Cause I add tomatoes, fresh tomatoes to it. And then, uh, then I put canned, uh, some canned tomatoes. Not all the cans. I'd say maybe about half. Yeah. And cook everything all up. And yeah, I've done canned tomatoes too, and I also yeah. done fresh tomatoes. Then and then do the hamburg. Yeah. How long does it take you to, to make it? Um, not not to do the spaghetti sauce in it. So once you get the sauce all done and it's all cooked, then the only thing you have to do if you're making lasagna noodles, I usually buy the noodles that you don't have to cook. It's a little easier and faster. Yeah. Not so much. And it's Asia. Yeah. Asia yeah. on time and energy, especially yeah. if you have a busy house. Even if yeah. you're by yourself, you still want time to get it done and over. And you can even freeze this. Could you yeah. freeze this after leftovers? Sometimes I do. So yeah. you freeze leftovers. Yeah. And that saves you right there on a budget. Yeah. You're not going out to making supper the next day. You're thinking, oh, what am I going to make? Like it's always good, too, in the winter. Yes. But the weather's bad. Winter's really bad. Yeah. I usually try and make homemade meals like, um, oh my goodness, what's some of them? Um, shepherd's pie is a really good one. Um, that's easy to make, and I'm gonna make that too to show you guys how to make that. And meatloaf, you can freeze it, even cutting up in slices and then freezing in freezer bags. You can even do that. Um, I'm not too sure if you can do mashed potatoes. Can you, ma can you do mashed potatoes and freeze them? No, I've never tried that. No, we never tried that. So. If anybody wants to try that, let me know how it turned out, and so maybe I, I can try it, right? I made ice oh, cream. This I put ice cream in between two cookies, then I wrapped them up individually. So these are homemade? These are homemade. So these are homemade, yes. guys. They're not store-bought. Yeah. But if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to uh, buy store-bought cookies, you can, and then just put the ice cream in the middle of it and squeeze it down and then wrap them individually and freeze them. Nice. Yeah. I even did them, I didn't put ice cream in mine, guys. I put in like icing, and then you roll it into um, sprinkles. And it's a big cookie with um, a big cookie, and you roll it into sprinkles. And there you go, you have a, a sandwich. But if you want to do ice cream, then you should do my mom with where you get the cookies, the ice cream, little, push it down, and then wrap it by itself and put it in the freezer bags and freeze them and you have an instant uh, you have an instant uh, ice cream cookie we're gonna go outside to show you guys outside um, <clears throat> it's really nice here it's really a quaint little little place it's small hours in the plants use her flowers and plants in her garden so budgeting is important to my mom because she is by herself since my dad passed away and she's been working on budgeting her money her food how it stretches out and how long you can make and you and she makes big meal but then she freezes it she can have it for different days out of the week so that's a good idea too for some of you guys who live alone, right? So try the mashed potatoes, freeze it in a freezer bag and let me know. And we'll be right back. Hi guys, we're back. We're just taking it out of the oven just to have a quick peek at what it looks like. Okay, I'll show you guys. Smells good. Just be careful you don't burn yourself. Ooh, look at that, guys. Oh. Uh, the finished fresh font. Oh, I see. Oh, it looks good. Oh. Looks nice and bubbly. Yes. Yeah. And how long does this cook for? No, but how long do you have it in the oven for? So you tell the viewers. I put it in about uh, five after ten. So five after ten, guys. 
to about what 1230 yeah, to about 1230 at what temperature uh, 375 so 375 okay yep. I was going to take the oh. I was going to take the this off to brown it. Yeah. But I don't need to. <laughs> I think it's already it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you guys don't need to brown it anymore once that, at that temperature. Yeah. yeah. And that's what it looks like. Yeah. And it smells really good. <laughs> <laughs> take a lot of cooking and baking growing up. So I did a lot of learning different recipes and things like that. So hopefully this, uh, this blog will help with different kinds of preparing foods, keeping you guys on a budget. So it's time to say goodbye. Bye. See you next time on Preparing Food with Ted. Bye. Bye.